So setting about to do a bit of cooking here. And I got some lovely butter. It's uh, a delicious new brand. It's been around for a few years. Grass fed, summer creamy, it's really delicious and soft. And they put it in a round pot, which I really like. Anyway, garlic, homegrown onions, they're all gonna go in here now. There we go. So I'm gonna fry up these onions first things first. And then I'm gonna dice up this garlic. So, and I better go and put that back in the fridge. So I've closed the hot plate and put this on a simmer plate with the lid on it. And I like the onions to go kind of glassy, a little bit glassy. Anyway, while that's simmering on the simmer plate, this is closed down, I'm now going to slice up the cabbage. This is half of a cabbage. So I'm going to slice that up and add that into, or shift that back there and add the cabbage in. So process of uh, using the hot plate and the simmer plate. So that's getting a nice color there. So I'm gonna bring it over here onto the hot plate again. Put it there, lower this, because it all keeps the heat in. Now this is looking, oh, it smells so good. The onion and garlic is smelling delicious. So this is the cabbage, I've sliced it all up. So I'm gonna put the cabbage in here now. Yum, 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 yum. There we go. Cabbage now. There we go. I cut the heart out. The heart is the middle part of the cabbage that is hard on this particular kind of cabbage. So, yeah, that's looking all very good. I'm going to stir that up. Oops. Got to do that. This is what's happening behind me. <laughs> You're mad. You're absolutely mad. No, no, no. Don't jump up on me. I'm going back to cooking. Cooking my cabbage onion, garlic, and butter. And I'm gonna now put the lid on and move it over to the simmer plate and close this. Now the next phase, as that simmers away there, I've got the next phase to do. So there's two things that I add in while it's simmering. One is toasted sesame seed oil, just literally just a touch. And another thing I'll add in are cumin seeds. Oop, the jar is empty. There was very little in the bottom of the jar. So that's cumin seeds. And just stir those in to the mix of cabbage, onions, butter, garlic. Oh, and I'll put a little bit of pepper in as well. I can't do that with one hand, so I'll have to do that. I'll, you'll have to trust that I'm doing it. Here's the pepper, you can see. So I've got to do that with two hands. So this is simmering away nicely and quietly, doing its own thing in a slow way. Got a second frying pan. Putting it here, got the butter out again. Seeing a good chunk. I'm big on butter. If you aren't interested in butter, then I don't know what you'd use otherwise because I just use butter. And because it also has salt in it, so I don't add a huge amount of salt. I like the natural salt that is in food. So um, anyway, the butter is 
going to melt now in the frying pan. There we go. Then, next stage is minced lamb. So that's going to go in here with the um, butter. And we'll stir that all up. We'll fry up the lamb in the butter. Yum, 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 yum. So, here we go. Cooking the lamb. Also, lamb is a leaner meat, or at least Zrakvas lamb is lean. So, it's good to add the fat of butter to the lamb, to the minced lamb. So I'll keep cook, stirring and cooking that, and this is simmering away. So this is lovely and browned. You can see it's cooked. No pink in it anywhere, so nice and browned. And this is doing a lovely bit of simmering and is cooked down as well. And so we add the two together. And shift them over onto the hot plate. Bringing that one down. And then we mix this in. So this is a mixture of the garlic, the onions, the cabbage, and the lamb, and the butter, and the cardamom, and roast sesame seed oil. There we go. Now, I'll put that over here again. simmer and close the lid down. So it's going to simmer for a little bit longer. You can kind of hear it. The smells coming out of there, I can tell you, it is just scrummy. This is eggplant or aubergine, depending what your country you're from. And it's got salt, uh, oregano, balsamic vinegar, and olive oil drizzled all across the top of it. And it's going in to roast in the top right hand oven. Okay, now the components are put together. So we have the baked aubergine. We put that in here. Okay, and one more there. Okay, this is baked aubergine. You can see it's tender and soft. Then we put on top this mixture of lamb, cabbage, onions, garlic, and herbs. Okay. There's that. Then you have some Parmesan cheese and you sprinkle it all around. There you go. Then you put that in the oven to bake and wait. So the cheese is probably melted. Oh, there it has. 
lovely sizzly thing. Yum, 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 yum. Now you scoop it out and serve it. Delicious, yum, 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 yum.